Why does it seem like we're so dull? I don't know. I don't know. But the, the weather's dull today. It's very dreary it out is. there today. It's, and it's misting and it's I'm, it's cold. It's, it's sweater weather. It's sweater weather. Yeah. And I have uh, 1980s hair going on today. That's okay. I have the growing out stage hair going on today. <laughs> but I've made it through two trims without them actually her taking everything off. So, what are you growing it out? Yep. I really? want it about down to here. Nothing longer. Okay. Bangs included. So, yeah, yeah. You want my hair? Yeah, I do. But okay. I, I don't want. But it's gonna take three years just for my bangs to grow out. <laughs> um, clippies are your friends. I know. So are bobby pins. <laughs> well, there you go. See, you Clippy, can put your hair up your like friend. that and take it down. And it'll I literally yeah. was blow drying my hair and I went, I am, I am vibing the '80s crap. Like y'all, I have nothing in my hair. I have no gel, no. Hairspray, no mousse, you no. Don't, you don't. This is this, y'all in the eighties. I lived that, and I permed my hair in the eighties. Oh, I did too. Yeah, I permed this. This yeah. I permed this. But you know what? You don't need to now. Oh, it was like this then, but I permed it anyway because you still wanted it bigger. Well, yeah, in the eighties you did absolutely because it was all about big hair <laughs> and as high up as you can look at this freshly washed like it's not teased this is ridiculous this is this is something about mary going on here <laughs> <laughs> well that's okay it still looks good there's there's no mm -mm. but you got yeah, some nice waving. It's just hair. a nice little colic right there. That's what well, does that. I have mine in the back. So I have colic. I have colics everywhere. She's got colics. I have one in the back. I'm not gonna complain about my hair. No, no I'm not going mm -hmm. to. Because I like I like that length on you. I do too. So, I do too. I have to admit I do too. I can yeah. do this. That's what I want. <laughs> yeah, but your hair has been short as long as I've known you. Short, 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 short. Oh, yeah. Short, short. Oh, yeah. Like my, I was short, short. Short, yeah. short, 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 short. But that all grew out. And I remember you growing it out. Oh, during the, well, it started before, it literally, it started just before I went to <clears throat> Ryan Beck. Okay. The very first time. Um, I was just past your stage. I was maybe another half an inch. Um, to an inch past your stage okay. when I went to Rhinebeck, it was at that drove you nutso. Uh, yeah. Batty nutso. Yeah. Yeah. I remember <laughs> for like a half a year, I literally wore my sunglasses, just pulled my hair back. Ah, that makes a great headband. <laughs> they, seriously, sunglasses are the best. Just buy a cheap pair, dollar twenty-five ones from the dollar store and use yeah. them for a headband. And I've seen some of the headbands that look like glasses. They're like, just use these. No, it's no, not the same. Not, they don't have the, the hinge. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't have the hinge. Or you don't have the. And they just don't hurt your head like headbands do. No, they don't. You're right about that. So that was sunglasses for me. Sunglasses saved my life growing my hair out. Well, Andrew says, when I wake up in the morning, my hair looks worse than it did when it was short. <laughs> yeah, it does. It, it, it does for the longest time. It does. And it will, but that's okay. I'll get through. And the it. more stuff you put in the hair, your worse your hair looks in the morning because it just looks, yeah. Oh, it's everywhere. So I mean, although I have to admit, I don't like finding. I I don't like unclogging drains. Um, and and that doesn't happen when you have short hair. That's true, but that's Doug's job. <laughs> well, see, Jamie has no hair. Well, so I, I can't. Mm. Yeah, well, but at least... And on the two-sink thing, you know, because, like, I'll wash my hair in the sink. Oh, I do. Occasionally. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. But, I mean, or I'll just wet it down to yeah. restyle it. Yeah, that so my too. sink um, always gets clogged, and then my uh, bathtub always gets clogged. Oh, it's just... Yeah, yuck. our tub gets clogged because of Anders' hair. I mean, Doug will pull lengths out about like this and longer. <laughs> 
<laughs> Ellie says she doesn't get long hair. She gets tall hair. Ah, I like that. I like that. I like that. So, so South Georgia, California, Delaware. Yeah. We got we got some good states on there. Yeah, Norway. <laughs> International, of course. Well, of course. Hi, Ellie. Ellie. Um, so I didn't tell you, but I labeled this one. So what do you want to learn? I think or something like that. What did, what did I, what did I name this one guys? I don't know. I can't remember. Me either. Cause I didn't know. So the reason why I put it was because she was talking about something that you had done and you did the pearl. Oh, you were talking about pearling. Mm. And then you said, well, the pearl bind off is kind of yeah, nice. I, yeah, I like the pearl bind off. And I said, I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah. I so I think I need it. to learn that. I think I need to learn how to do that. Well, we'll look at it this way. When you're purling the bind off, it's one stitch at a time, just like a regular bind off. <laughs> but you're not actually purling to purl to purl to purl to purl. You're actually taking the stitches off. You know, well, your favorite row to knit. The last, the very last row. Yeah. <laughs> the very last row is my favorite row. Yeah, that too. So, oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I need to learn the pearl bind off. I also want to learn how to brioche. Well, we kind of sort of are. No, you're not. No, we're not. That's fake. That's that's but, that's not brioche at all. I know. But it's not brioche. It's not brioche at all. If, if I were to brioche, I would be throwing it out the window. I probably will be, too. I've, I've just, I don't think my brain, I can't get my brain wrapped around it. Now, Marsha can. I've, I've, I've read through, I think I could. I just don't know. I hate switching up just between knitting and purling. <laughs> like, I, I'm on it. I'm being honest. I hate switching up just for knitting and purling. So I, I, I don't know if, um, Brioche is going to be for me. Hmm. I'd Mark. rather do color work. I have never done color work. Do you want? Okay, so the the, the headliner was, what do you want to learn in knitting uh, or crochet? Okay, so I guess one of these days I'll learn color work, and you could learn brioche, and we'll see who has hair left on their head. Are we going to put a timeline on this? No. Oh, no, 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 no. You got the holidays. You haven't done any color work at all? No. No? No. Well, would you consider this color no, work? It's it's two not, separate no, color. it's not color work. You're not holding two colors at one time. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think I could do that. Well, I, I might be able to if I could hold two to knit with. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I might be able to. Well, and then, so there's people like Colleen. She does two at a time. Um. I'm just going to do this for... Okay. I don't know if I can. I don't have... An, an, we got Delaware on, Beach. I think. Is that what that's... I can't read it. How oh, what, what? San Antonio. Yeah. There's no way. Um, so Colleen holds both colors in her right hand. Okay. And then... So she only... But she only uses... Or no, you know what? She drops one. Oh, okay. she only so she only holds one color at a time, and she lets the other one just be down. Okay. I hold one in my right hand and one in my left. But you're used to that because of crocheting, correct? Yeah. Um, I and know. and I can, and but I can also knit this way. Continental. Yeah, I can knit. I can't do the pearl. The pearl stitch throws it's, me for a freaking loop. Um, yeah. Um, who, who caught now? Oh, Sharon. Sharon. Sharon and Linda does. She caught now. Linda does too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Nice. And Mary. So maybe I should learn how to do the pearl that way. Continental wise. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Is Two things for me to learn. Three. Wait, that's three. Oh, the pearl bind off, continental, <laughs> continental pearl. Maybe I should. I need to combine the two into one. I the need pearl. To, the. I need to do the pearl bind off and continental. There you go. That's two of them in one, and then brioche works. 
Mm. Color work? Well, okay. Uh, you know, I have uh, a simple color work. Yeah, no, no, not to, nothing hard. Yeah, but nothing where you need to do floats. Oh no, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, floats for me are if you if you do if if well, even Colleen says floats weren't that big of a deal for her. Um, but for me, it's super easy because I'm using both hands at the yeah. same time. That's so floats weren't, yeah, floats aren't that big of a deal. I would just sometimes like to learn how to fix my own stupid mistakes. <laughs> there are classes for that. I understand. And Marsha's a great, she's a fabulous teacher, but it gets to the point sometimes where I make a mess more out of than what I have. So, yeah, I get I'm that. I'm good at that. And, but you should at least try. Well, I mean, yeah. if I drop a stitch and I see it, that I can do. I can, you know, just but if, if it's it like, back up. yeah, but if it's three or four rows down, no, no, you're not even going to attempt it. I've tried. You've tried to attempt <laughs> it and, 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 and it failed miserably. Mm. So. All right. What you working on? The shadow show. The shadow show. Yep. We can compare where we are. Maybe we're both about the same. No, I think yours is bigger. I don't think so. Yeah, I think it is. I haven't worked on mine for a hot minute. Well, I work on it every now and then. Yeah. But hot minute, right? Yeah, hot minute. Ooh. Yours has got sparkle in it. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I am just a smidge. Yeah, bigger. you are. Just a, maybe just a smidge. Yeah. But so, mine yeah. is pink and gray black. And mine is blue, of course. With sparkles. With sparkles. Hers is hers got sparkles. And she actually is, is doing the, it the right way. This is called the shadow shawl. <laughs> <laughs> so the center has yarn overs, so you get the little holes. Right. Karen's does not. Karen's. Front does back. not have the little holes because she's just doing front and back or knit two together, right? Front and back. Front and back on the, yeah, it's front and back and then coming. I just know I know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> I think it's fine both ways. It is. I, I'm it's... just doing it according to the pattern, exactly according to the pattern, and she's doing. According uh, to Karen. Uh, according to Karen, yeah. which, you know, it comes out to be the same. Yeah, it does. But the difference between here's dark blue and aqua. Yep. And pink and gray. Not pink and gray. Hmm. And, of course, Deb's done with hers. And speaking of Deb. Deb's on a boat somewhere just outside of Rome. Yeah. Her and Gail. I'm not sure exactly where. She doesn't give you know 100% itineraries just no it's just we only now. get every now and then we'll get a text yep. when they hit shore um yeah and she's gone for another hot minute too mm -hmm. she's mm. gone for the next two Sundays yeah and Carly will so be Carly here. will be here next mm -hmm. week and then Maybe, Maybe I can get Colleen. Oh yes, get Colleen. Maybe Colleen will show up. I haven't yeah. seen. We haven't seen Colleen in a hot minute. I did last week. Hmm. I did last week. You did, I but did. I didn't. No, because you were busy. This is a nice little bag that Miss Um. Somebody said, "Love my ninny bag." Yeah. Of course, Miss Deb made it. Yeah. You know. The I'm, bag lady. The bag lady. Yeah, and then I get mine from the other bag lady. <laughs> yeah, from um, Marsha. Yeah, the Felted Garden on yes, SC. Mm -hmm. um, um, and then there's Tori's new shop. Yep. There um, is. How's she doing with that so far? What is, what is it called again, guys? Creations. Creating the. Um, um, bad. Bad mom. Well, that's okay. Yeah. We couldn't think of two names this morning. Oh, yeah, I know. We are both on like Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. Um. Old timers. You're right. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what's everybody working on? What's everybody yeah, knitting what's on? Yeah, what's everybody's working? What y'all working on? Yeah. Um. New Hampshire. Ah, she loves your knitting. Thank 
<laughs> I um speaking of my daughter. Oh. So I, I did a it. pattern several years ago. Um, it is nowhere. It hasn't been published anywhere because I, I did it. I knit it. Um, I had it tech edited for, you know, grammatical errors. And I had the knitters look at it and mm -hmm. it made sense. I didn't have anybody um, knit the pattern off of it. But Marsha looked over the pattern. Yeah. So, at any rate, so I did the first, um, the first, I, I did the first project in leading men in okay. their colorway bend and snap. And when I got done with it, I was like, I didn't know what to call it. So I was just like, well, bend and snap works. There's no, no, no other patterns that mm -hmm. are bend and snap. So I contacted leading men. I'm like, hey, wrote this pattern. Here's what it looks like. And do you mind if I just use your name, Ben, and snap for the pattern? And they're like, no, that's fabulous. Great. It works awesome. So I proceeded to send the hat to my daughter so she could put it onto young pretty heads, take photos of it so I could have photos on my pattern. Um, it's MIA? Hat is MIA. <laughs> Can't find it. Well, I bet it she got finds lost. it. I bet she finds it. No, she won't. It, mm -hmm. It's... It's literally, it, it's been over a year, year and oh, a half since oh. she's told me that it's been, been lost. It's been probably five years oh. since I wrote the pattern and did the last one. And I mm -hmm. ran across it. I was, I was doing some stuff, get, making a new logo. Mm -hmm. And I was um, digging through some stuff in my computer files. And I ran across the pattern and I went, oh, I totally forgot all about this pattern. I need to make it again. So, um, yeah. Um, Scrappy Blanket from Nancy. Uh, oh, Col yeah. Colleen's doing her lava trail. So Colleen, are you, are you all done with your um, 10 stitch blanket? Is that all gone? All done? I don't know if it is. Or not. And when are we going to learn how to crochet? Are you coming over next Sunday? You gotta learn how to crochet. <laughs> I think my <laughs> I problem would be Kelly was on. holding the yarn in the left hand because you have to have the crochet hook in the right hand. Well, most of the time. So. Yeah, usually. Yeah. Okay. Colleen debating on a cord. Oh, she wants to do an eye cord edging. And, and mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yes. She'll be here next Sunday. Oh, you're going to come over next Sunday? Yeah. Or the Sunday after? Maybe the Sunday after. Carla will be here next Sunday, but you're more than welcome to come, too. Well, and then on the 12th, we're, we're going to go to the MacArthur Bookstores there in West Clay. They're having everybody new. Um, it was on a Sunday? Yeah. yeah. I missed that. How did I miss no, that? I didn't. We talked about it. <laughs> okay. I've forgotten about it. That's okay. Colleen said, you got to remind me. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay. Me too. Back to the pattern, though. Yes. So it was going to be called Bend and Snap. I don't think it'll be called Bend and Snap anymore because, of course, I didn't have any Bend and Snap yarn. I kind of bought some more, maybe, but I don't know if they still have it. At any rate, I have to make the pattern again. So that's what I started. Yep. And it's pretty. The yarn is this yarn yeah. out of my stash is Fiber Seed Sport. In Shell Factory? Yeah. Shell Factory. It's a fun little mm -hmm. speckly unicorn poop sort of yeah, looking. I like it. White with all the fun colored speckles in it. Yep. And this is one of my favorite yarns to knit with. I love fiber seed. You know, and when the first time I did this pattern, I just, I was relatively new to knitting. Okay. And I thought, how can I do this one brim on a hat that I'm thinking of in my head? I can vision it in my head, but I don't know how to actually, um, I don't know how to do it in the, in the reels. I know what the, what I want it to mm -hmm. look like. Mm -hmm. I just don't know how to do it. And I thought, 
my first thought was, well, just do a provisional cast on and do this and do that. And then you can do this. This is how the, this is how the pattern process worked out in my head. And after I got done with it, I just went, I wonder if you couldn't have done it this way. Well, you know what? You can <laughs> tell the pattern process works in my head. But maybe the next time you can do it this way. <laughs> I don't know. We'll mm. see. I'm doing it exactly how the pattern says. So I'm actually editing my yeah. own pattern. <laughs> I'm testing say. my testing my own pattern. <clears throat> I just remember after I remember sitting in the yarn shop thinking well, that was a that wasn't as hard as I thought it was gonna be, but okay. I wonder if you couldn't have just done this. And I don't know. Yeah, but you're always thinking. I don't know how like to double that. knit. Do you guys know how to double knit? And I don't know what it looks like. I don't. Mm, I don't. Mm, got me. <laughs> I know there's like a pattern on one side of, and the opposite pattern on the other side. So I think. That's not considered brioche. I don't know. No, that's, that's what I'm asking. Okay. No, like if you have, if you have, if you have pink and purple yarn. You have two different yarns. Okay. And one, and you're making a blanket. And one side okay. will be the background is pink, and you'll have purple polka dots. And the other side will be the background is pink, but there'll be purple polka dots. So just the flip flop. Did I say that right or did I say I that wrong? First, you got me confused, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> exactly the opposite. Opposite reverse. Of what the front is reverse. Okay. Yeah. Where it, so it would be like you would look like it would look like knitting on both sides, not like knitting and pearl. Okay. All right. I Am I right it. on that, guys? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody don't tell know. me if I'm right on that. That's double knitting. Or you have knitting, it looks like knitting on both sides. I don't know, because I don't do that. <laughs> I just don't do that. I haven't learned that either. I'm going to work on my muscle burg. <laughs> yeah, work on your muscle burg, because it's easy. It's popcorn knitting. Mm, and and I want to see, I want to see your, she has two FOs. I do. I do. And not just one not like this is one and this is one. No, this is one FO a pair of socks. Yep. This is this spa. Oh yes, spa. Yeah. Brennan Heather. Yes. We love those girls. Oh, absolutely. And their stripy fabulousness. Yes. And the sock head hat. The sock head hat. <laughs> this is you know, good lordy. Oh, I love this little hat. Yeah. And it's not hard. And that's well, I no, I, it's not. <laughs> After you get past the five inches of ribbing. Yeah. It'll keep your ears warm. Yeah. And I can't decide. Oh, I really like this hat. Who is this for? Uh, Me? Sure. Go right ahead. <laughs> no. Go right ahead. No. I, I, don't no, have, I don't have a black coat. So if you want it, you can have it. Who and if you want to put a pom-pom on it. No, be I your guess. Put a pom pom on this. So. No, you need to give this to some. Yeah, but this is just the sock head hat, huh? Yeah, there is quite a bit of ribbing. Yeah, <laughs> there I, is. I'm tempted. How how long is that? How how many inches is that? That's probably three, maybe four. I don't know. Probably four. I'm gonna guess right around four inches. Here, do this because you know from here to here is one inch. <laughs> it is. It's part four. Probably four inches. Mm -hmm. But and then black with all of these fun little it's fiber blue, seed. white, fiber seed. Mm -hmm. Again, of course. That's one of Reese's colors <laughs> that he did. Of course. <laughs> he's so cute. He's isn't he? just so is this bottom up or top down? Um you don't start here. You start here. Bottom up. <laughs> bottom up. Bottom up. Bottom of the hat up. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Start with the ribbing. Yep. Sock head. Is that a freebie? Yeah. It is. Nice. It is. So. And then, of course, she's working on a muscle, a muscle berg 
But y'all, this is, she's so extra on this. Mm. A Musselberg in cashmere. Thanks to Marsha. In cashmere. <laughs> so I would imagine that's for you too, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. No, this is not it's going in, anywhere. It's in cashmere. It's, it's Kajma. <laughs> so yeah. Well, Jamie's home after his yeah. three week hiatus. <laughs> yeah, I don't get to park in the middle of the garage anymore. My husband is back. Oh darn. And he well, you caught that he he was the Sasquatch sighting on the last video where he commented oh, in, "Yeah, hey, all you <laughs> bats, bats, old bats." <laughs> yeah. Well, that's with when you and Deb were dressed up in your Halloween stuff. When he said that, I think. Hmm. And that when you and Deb were dressed up in your Halloween. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I called us bats. But I'm sure he meant it in a daring way. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure he did not. Oh. <laughs> no? No, he, he's just being a smarty pants is all he's being. Oh, well, that's okay. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Well, another another whip. But it's, it's a fun, colorful whip. Oh, did you lose a stitch? I did. You know why? Because I'm not using my own damn tip huggers. Well, I am. Terry. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix her tool right here. Oh, you because I get not yeah. not only did I drop it, but it 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 Comes. went down a little. Yeah, so of course I'm not using my own needle huggers or tip huggers, as my husband calls them. Right, but you know what? I don't leave home without them. <laughs> They're on all my projects. That and your your little nice rings that you make. I've started giving those out um, with first time orders. So if you're a first time order in my Etsy shop, you get one of my rings. Mm, nice. Um, unless of course you actually order the rings, then <laughs> then yeah, then I give you something else. But Terry um, says we need to make a sweater out of the cashmere. Out of the same yard. I don't. Do you mean out of the cashmere or out of? Because a sweater out of cashmere. Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> if someone else makes it for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Yeah, I. Unless it's like bulky, I'm not going to make a sweater. Mm. Well, that 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 takes a while. To, uh, to make a sweater out yeah. of bulky? Well, no. Just make it a sweater no matter what. Well, true. Uh, true. Because you're this, 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 and this. Of course, there are some people who can whip them up really quick, but I'm not one of those people. <clears throat> <clears throat> so. Yeah. I'd rather make a big wrap that I could just wrap myself up in and, you know, same amount of. Same amount of yarn, but I don't have to worry about it fitting or me gaining five pounds and not getting into the damn thing well, anymore. Yeah, that's true, too. That would be my problem. But now, Marcia's tried to figure out on the shadow shawl mm -hmm. how to do it diagonally. Oh, like a, yeah. So I'm kind of anxious to see what she comes up with. Like the orgasm shawl. Wrap, oh. wrap like that, right? I'm gonna to say, do yeah. the stripey like yeah. the shadow in a so. yeah. diagonal yeah. like that. Well, that would be cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be. Okay. I've got that pattern, you know. Is that what she's doing? Is that what Marsha's doing? I, I don't know what she's got a lot of stuff up in the air right well, now. Well, I know she does. So I don't know, but we'll hopefully maybe within the next two or three weeks she'll start it and we can kind of see what it looks like. I know I need to show up on is it is she still doing Thursday? No, she never did Thursday. Wednesday. 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 That's your Over date night. I know. That's at the farm. At the farm. So, and then she's got her Monday classes too, but you're in the opposite direction because <laughs> you're at work. I just need to go over there and chat with her. Yeah, you do. I just need to go to her house. Yeah. Um. This is. What is that? I can't. Oh, it's broken. It's like a zobber ball, though, guys. 
Um, oh, shared it was yard. like a soccer ball, uh, but it's Barocco, a bunch of different red, hot pink, gray, brown. Um, and I'm just doing a muscle burger in it. This is where I am at this. This is what I get. Um, what I do Pretty. sometimes at work when I'm not busy. But this last week we did inventory. Mm, fun. Um, cigar. That's it. Um, shop update. Um, a good majority of the Etsy shop is 25% off. Ooh, nice. Not all of it, but a good majority of it is. Out of 130 some odd, probably 100 are 25% off. Yeah, but still, that's a big chunk. So get your Christmas shopping in. Yeah, get your Christmas shopping I will in. not be doing 25% off again and to, and before Christmas. Oh, well, then So you if you want it, 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 this is as good as it's going to get before Christmas. Okay. So <laughs> is it just through the month of October or any part of November? Or? It goes through a chunk of November. Oh, good. Good. goes through a chunk of November, too. Okay. So. There you go, guys. Get your order. So in. you're safe. But the quantities that I have in in there in Etsy are relatively accurate. So okay. don't wait too long. No. I've been very busy. Or so. you'll be SOL. Um yeah. Mm. I like the tree. My little my little tree. Yeah, because it's got a lot of your blue in it so i don't know if you guys have seen this but i thought what a fun thing to do i put stitch markers <laughs> and most of them her ornaments on this tree are blue so you know yeah this is completely these, in love with these it. are all the winter wonderland pack yeah um they're all all of the all of the markers from in that winter wonderland mystery pack so yeah isn't it, isn't it cute <laughs> They all blue. Yeah. And then I got an all pink one. Did you see? I got a, I got one that's all pink. No. Oh, yeah. I got one that's all pink. That one I call Blushing Winter Kisses. Because it's pink snow. It's pink snowmen and pink Santas and <coughs> pink snowflakes. And No, I haven't seen that. I'll have to go and take a peek. After yeah, the you'll have to go, go look. I'll have to go look. And then you know that one you could do next week on the podcast. Oh, the tree with the pink ones on it? No, because that took me almost two hours to get all of those on there. Oh well. Okay. Uh, well, as I was making them, so I had to make well, them as well. Well, yeah. But the two hours, if you really sit there and think about it, to me, that would be. Uh, uh. But for you, you—I mean, you're just so used just to like, whipping it out. Yep. Two hours is nothing for you. I was I was filling orders too. So well, yeah, you were doing a lot of things at once. You multitask. I wasn't. I wasn't knitting. Oh well. This is this I pretty much done at work. Well, that's okay too. I mean, not you know, here at home. You know, when you get bored at work, you gotta do something, right? <laughs> yeah. And not act like you're actually working. Well, but I have to have this on like on. I have to look like I'm working. Well, yeah. I mean, so to my me, knitting is be my desk. Here, here they This is why I can do it uh, without looking. Oh, uh, I can't. Because I'm that. looking at my screen oh, while well, I'm knitting. You, oh well, okay. So, <laughs> okay, do y'all do that? No, I don't. Do y'all do that? I don't. No. This is probably why I'm good at fixing my mistakes too. At the same time, well, without no. looking at them. No, I have to look oh, at them to okay, fix them. Okay. But when that's you're not looking, you're more prone to making make the mistakes. Mistake. Yeah, well, that's okay. I'm the mistake queen. <laughs> Ask Marcia. <laughs> She'll tell you. Well, it's probably why she's really good at um, fixing mistakes. Fixing mistakes yeah, she has because she's fixing lots of them. practice. Yeah. Yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. yes. So. And okay. let me ask, mm -hmm. is she still doing your corners for you on the socks? Picking up your stitches. Well, of course. <laughs> oh, maybe that should be a New Year's resolution. I think it should be. Ah. Well, and 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 um, I triple dog dare you the next <laughs> the next time you're on uh, the 
keel of a sock and you're with Marsha. Okay. I Oh, I do get to do that. Uh, yes, now. yes, yes. And you're with Marsha because I know you'll wait till you're with Marsha. Yeah. I triple dog dare you to keep those in your hand and ask her to walk you through how to do it. Can she kind of like guide me through it? Yes. With, with her hand on Yes, the absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, and then I triple dog dare you to do triple it. Triple dog dare you. <laughs> the challenge has been issued. It's been issued. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm, I'm, mm -hmm. well, and then Colleen said sometimes she would show me how to, how to do the, I guess, if I guess, fish, fish. Lip, thank you. Fish lips kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Heal. Yeah. How can we remember that, but we can't remember names this morning? Oh, uh, I, mm. her and I both mm. couldn't think. We were sitting here chatting, <laughs> and neither one of us could come up with two names of people that we both know. <laughs> and we've known for a long time. Yeah. See, Deborah, Deborah, you don't get to claim Alzheimer's. That's not all timers. It's that's old, old timers. <laughs> it's brain fog. Well, that's like a brain fart. Yeah. But all we had to do was kind of, you know, bonk each other up against the head a little bit. And yeah. then we're like, oh, yeah, that person. Well, oh, that's her name. Oh, yeah. But you figured the both. Well, you no, figured you, one. I figured you, the other Exactly. One. And then I had to. We can remember specific things about them. Yeah, we did. Think where they, what they worked, what they did, what they usually were knitting on, what what they would knit on. Uh huh. But we couldn't remember their name. Personality traits. Yeah. Hair color. Yeah, everything. What they knit. Yeah. Probably, you know, we yeah. were like bartenders. We knew their drink. <laughs> Didn't know their name. Do y'all do that? Sorry. Please tell me that. That's. I know other people do it because you and I were both said it was, it wasn't just me. No, it wasn't just you. Mm -mm. It was both of us at the same time. And that's the sad part of it. On the <laughs> same people. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's true. Oh, well. Because okay. usually what happens is I can't remember the name, but somebody else just says their name and immediately I'm like, oh, yes. Right. That's the person. Right. Well, I think. I don't know. I just. <laughs> we have the same brain. Yeah. Are we sisters? Sometimes. Sisters Sometimes. from a different mister. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. 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 Oh, well, that's all right. That's okay. We figured it out and we remembered. So what's Nancy saying? Nancy's saying my dad wouldn't forget something you would call it sometimers. Sometimes it's me. <laughs> he would remember and sometimes he wouldn't. I like that. That you know what? That sometimes. sounds yep. that's better. I yep. like that. I like that. And yeah. I can't remember shit. <laughs> no, that's me. CRS. <laughs> can't remember shit. I'm too good sometimes to remember what I did five minutes ago. Yeah. Well, I was making no well, five minutes ago we were sitting here, but oh well, yeah, that's true. A little bit ago, so this morning. This one doesn't like eggs. So yeah. I usually make waffles or pancakes uh -huh. or biscuits and gravy or something that, you know, not eggs. She does. And but then, then you have your eggs. I do. I yeah. make, I mean, you know, yeah. it's not like you're allergic to them. No, 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 no. She just doesn't like them. I just want them. So I said to my husband at 730 this morning, which is an hour and a half before she comes. I said, this is I'm, good. I'm making pancakes because Karen's coming for breakfast. Do you want pancakes? And he says, well, pancakes are all right. Now, I know my husband's not the biggest fan of pancakes. So, hence why I ask him, do you want pancakes? Hi from Canada. Hi, Canada. <gasps> Is Canada? And, and, I, and I know he has to be in a specific mood to have pancakes. Uh, Okay. So hence why I ask if you wanted pancakes. And I go, I know you'll eat the pancakes if that's all that is. But would you rather have something else? I have plenty of time to make you breakfast. Because mm -hmm. Karen's not showing up for an hour and a half. That's right. <laughs> would you like hash? Well, I always like hash. <laughs> why can't men just answer the damn question? Do you, you want it? <laughs> yes, please. 
because they're men. Do you want pancakes? No, I don't really want pancakes well, this morning. Okay, good. That's one thing out of the way. <laughs> uh, Doug, when he's home, he always makes breakfast. I don't I don't make breakfast. I'm doing good just to do dinner. <laughs> A lunch, baby. You don't eat. I, here's here's and I know and I know a lot of it's because it's in my twisted mind. But if I eat in the morning, then I eat all day. Mm -hmm. If I don't eat, my morning, daughter says the same thing. Oh, good. my daughter thinks the same way. If she eats breakfast and she's hungry all day, yeah. But the problem is, I am, and so I eat all day. So that that <laughs> no, <laughs> Tori. I love you for it. Tori would say the same thing in, in high school. I'm like, you got to eat something. Well, yeah, because, you know, when they're taught in school at that young age like that, three meals a day, breakfast. Breakfast is the most important, important meal, meal of the, the day. day. Okay, then I'll have it for dinner. <laughs> you know, I don't mind. I, I, yeah. like, I like breakfast for I, I don't eat. I don't eat when I first get up because I'm just... Oh, no. Mm. I have to be up for like four or five hours. Now, Doug, as soon as he gets up, he takes a shower, does what he has to do, and then he's ready to eat. It's like, oh, Yeah, my, my husband God. is hungry ooh, first ooh. thing in the morning, too. No, 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 no. I'm not either. Yeah. A lot of the times I don't have anything for breakfast until I actually am at work for a while. Mm. Now, I had been waking up at like 3.30 in the morning. Well, that's nothing new. Nothing new for me. <clears throat> but the last, and then, then I work at seven. So I usually am eating my breakfast after the morning meeting, which is at 8.15. So I've been up for three hours, five hours. Do you have a meeting every morning? Mm -hmm. At 8.15. Why? It's all, it's all of like a two minute meeting. <laughs> Because we need to let the people in the warehouse know, okay, uh, shit that happened the, the day before. So okay, okay, it's it's a necessary thing. All right, um, and I'm glad it goes on, but okay. I usually eat my breakfast after that. Okay, so I wake up at three thirty, eat breakfast at eight thirty. Mm -hmm. That's five hours. It's five yeah, hours. That's about how it is? Me. So by the time I wake up, I you know, if I eat anything, it'll be lunch. But, you know, I, I'm funny on some stuff because it all depends what we have for dinner the night before and if there's any leftovers. It always tastes better the second day. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. I made Salisbury steak last night. Ooh, I like Salisbury steak. I don't make it because Andrew doesn't like it. So I, 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 I always tell her. This is what I'm having for dinner. I know you don't like this. And she'll say, don't worry about it. I'll, 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 I'll you know. for myself. Yeah. 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 And she's pretty good about it. Now she doesn't like Swiss steak. I love Swiss steak. It's like a Salisbury steak. Um, yeah. What else? Uh, whenever I make corned beef and cabbage and potatoes, those two chow down on the cabbage. I, I'm the potato fiend. <laughs> you get the potatoes and the corned beef? Do they? Yeah. They don't like the corned beef either? Oh, I, oh yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to oh, yeah. say. Well, you know, I like to buy the corned beef rounds because there is a difference between a brisket and a round. Yeah. And Target, like two or three weeks before St. Patrick's Day, they put out the corned beef rounds. So... Mm -hmm. I go and hoard about five or six of them at once and stick them in the freezer so I can have them on your round. <laughs> Kroger and doesn't carry the rounds, they just carry the brisket. Kroger only carries brisket. Do you know hmm. why? I don't know. I've never really paid that close okay. attention. <clears throat> I don't shop at Target. I haven't do. for a long time. Yeah. I do because it's just they're, right up the road. Yeah, but. they're not very convenient for me for one thing. Well, well yeah. Well, it's kind of like with Meyer with me. Right. It's not right up the road like Kroger and Target is or all right. these. I'll go to Aldi's every now and then just to look around to see what they have. Yeah, they usually I can usually get a few things there. Yeah. I don't do my whole oh, no, 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 there. no, 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 no. No. But my thing is I love that Instacart. I do Myers pickup. 
Okay. I shop online uh, okay. and then I go pick people, it up on my yeah, way home. Yeah, a lot of people do that. Yeah. yeah. But I just, no, I love that Instacart. <laughs> I don't know. Too bad somebody didn't come up with that a long time ago. But it was really nice and convenient during COVID. Yeah, I think that's when it became big. I think so. So big, big, big. Yeah. Now I I just do my shopping online for non-perishables. Okay. Yeah. So well, if and I, I will need... I will just drive up and pick those up. Mm -hmm. You know, like right now I have pancake mix and biscuit mix and um, you know, laundry soap mm -hmm. and and okay. my hey. husband goes through. Clamato, like it's going out of style. So <laughs> I always get that. So I let them haul that into my car and put that into my car. But for lettuce and yeah, peppers and yeah, and produce, <coughs> meat, you know, for yeah. meat and produce, I'm gonna go and pick my own. Mm. So that's usually what I go to the grocery store now is for produce and meat. Yeah, I like which to, is still once a week. Well, I like to go to see what meat's on sale. And that's what I buy. Yeah, that's what I buy too. So I, it doesn't go in my cart unless it's on sale. Yeah, well, I picked up a really nice pork loin. It was really, I only paid 10 bucks for it. I have a pork loin in my freezer that might come out for dinner tonight. Um, mm -hmm. That I probably got a buy one, get one or something like oh, that. Oh, yeah, for. that's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> buy, buy one, one get one. one. I like yeah. those. Yeah, those are nice. That happen too often, but. No. Every now and then. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah, my and nephew, squash. My nephew and sister, they're getting a half a cow. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, they got the freezer space. Karen does not. Karen does not. Have <laughs> so Christopher. Well, you have to have somewhat of a freezer space if you're we, buying five or six. Yeah, I have a small chest. Corn beef. In the in the garage. It's it's a small chest. And of course my freezer on the refrigerator like yours, but um he said, is there anything you want? And I said, yes, I want. <laughs> <laughs> what so did said, you list off? Uh, I like a sirloin tip roast. Those are really good for to do roast beef with. If you want roast beef Manhattans. Mm. Um, and then I said, I want 10 pounds of ground beef. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, a, know, that's a staple that's in easy. my house, you know? Ground beef. So, is, yeah. Especially but, when you have half an animal to do it with to do to get ground beef because well, it's a lot of it is just the yeah. it's scrap. Well, he said with theirs, they'll end up with like a hundred pounds of ground beef. Yeah. So depending yeah. on how big the cow was. Yeah. Yeah. Right now it's hanging. I guess it has to age for three weeks. So yeah. 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 Do yeah. any of you guys do that? Do you get a half an animal or an a full animal split it with friends, whatnot? I'm curious. What I didn't hear it. I, I was asking them if any of them oh. did, you know, half an animal or, or yeah. a full animal split it with friends or yeah, um, it's a lot cheaper to do it that way. Oh yeah, a lot. I cheaper. mean, it doesn't seem like it because there's up front it's like a lot of money. Yeah, but in the long run, but in the long run, it it's, is. A, it's, it's a lot it's cheaper. A heck of a lot cheaper. Hey guys, what's up, David? I don't know. Not much. Well, hello, We're just hanging around the table. Yep. Um, We're flocking around the table. Talking about, talking about um, butchering a full animal. <laughs> for, Poor cow. <laughs> Poor cow for the table. Really. I wouldn't mind doing maybe a half a pig. I mean, because basically what I want out of that is the bacon. Yeah, you just want the bacon. I just want the bacon. You don't want anything else than the bacon. You probably would be better just going to um, um, a butcher shop. Yeah, and getting and getting bacon. just the bacon. Yeah, probably so. But in the grocery store, it's so big. I know it is. <sighs> Go to the Spanish market down on. Um, yeah. We'll talk about it after. Okay, good. Because if you're asking me to remember um, something, it's, no. <laughs> it's on Lafayette. Lafayette Road, yep. Georgetown. I don't know what the cross street uh, is. Is it the Mexican restaurant? That... The Mexican. Um, it's the Spanish grocery store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know where you're at. Pink. Yeah. 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 They probably will. Could They probably have the full side of the belly. Okay. 
pork belly mm. or Vietnamese. If you can find a Vietnamese um, okay. butcher okay. or grocery store, they would have pork belly too, where you could get the whole whole thing of pork belly. <sighs> bacon. Bacon. <laughs> mm, bacon, bacon, bacon. Yes, 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 yes. Which and Sue Sue made sausage today, so that was me. <laughs> what David? He's like I was the token male on the Alaska cruise. Oh, David and um, yeah. <laughs> okay, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> token male. Token male. Oh my god, they, they were a lot of fun to be with. They were. Uh -huh. They were fun. Yeah, they were. Even though we only got to see you, David, a couple of times, you yep. were like a Sasquatch. What? But that's fine. Yeah, and you were working, and and out on all the excursions that they went. Oh on. yeah, him and Don. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 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 totally yeah. out on all the excursions. Um, I don't really have much more this week. Mm -mm. No. Next week we'll have Carly here. Yep, you will. You will. And I'm going to sit home and laugh at you, too. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. And you get to go to a party this afternoon. Yep, for the twins. So you Connor. can't be late for that. You would be. Oh, heavens no, because I've already been asked. Well, you're not going to take me to my party. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you going to do my party? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. So you have a party I'll to take go you. to. I'll take it. I am going to sit in it and watch movies. Oh, well, you know what? That's perfect for a day like today because it's so it's yucky, so yucky out. outside. <sighs> it's grody. It it's is. It's grody out there. And it was misting earlier. And I, you know what? I don't Typical like driving. Typical fall weather. Yeah, I know. But I don't like driving in the mist. I, that At least it it's not dark to... outside. True. True. It's not true. It's... But at 7 o'clock it was. Hmm. Yeah. You weren't driving here at seven o'clock this morning. No, but I was asked why it was still dark out. I said, because it's seven o'clock and it's fall. <laughs> that was from a five-year-old. So, you know. This is this is the shirt that um that I like that. That uh Leah found. Those are cute. Those are and cute. she calls me up and she goes, I found these shirts. Do you want one? And I go, Yeah, of course I do. No, I don't want one. <laughs> She she finds a lot of good stuff too. Yeah, for flock's sake. Yep. <clears throat> Between you know her and Deb. Oh, I know. They find a lot of stuff, and then you know you could throw them both in a paper bag, shake them up, and you don't know who would fall out first. Because Probably Deb, because Leah would be throwing her out of the bag. <laughs> <laughs> probably probably well that could very well be uh, so yeah and and when are we going to go on a all girl cruise again? maybe in may of 2024 yeah well i'm gonna be in Alaska. well why did you book that so soon oh my god i booked that while we were on the last cruise i know what, I'm supposed to wait for you? Sure. Uh, no, that's not going to happen. So, okay, where are you thinking of going? Mexico, probably. Okay. All right. Now probably we're... somewhere, well, yeah. Somewhere well, around there. Okay. Because we leave on the 30th of May to fly to Seattle. Oh, you're doing May. You, oh. 30th May, and then the 31st of May, we actually board ship to go to Alaska. So we'll be gone that first week in June. Okay. So, so you don't want to do one the beginning of May and then do one the end of May. I, I mean, it's already love, paid for. I would love it. I would love it, but but you should probably space them out a little bit more. You probably. Should, you're thinking? Yeah, not two in one month. I would love it. I don't two know in if, one year. Two in one year. I don't know if um, the other part of it would like it or not. <laughs> Is Tori going to go on this one? No. Oh, I don't think so. Okay. She was fun to be with, too. She was a blast. She was. She's, she's so. She's my kid. Oh, dead. Oh, dead. Oh. Yeah. Andrew was. Tori and I would have had a great time. I said, Yeah, I know. They would have, but it didn't work out that way. So that's okay. Well, Christopher wants to go on a cruise to Hawaii. Well, isn't that fantastic? I know. But I don't think we're going to do that until like 2026 because, you know, he's taking four kids. <laughs> I know. 
and it would just. Does he be, know how much it costs to go to Hawaii on I, a cruise? I well, with younger ones, you get a little bit of a discount. I know, I know, but you either sail out of Honolulu or British Columbia. And so either way, I mean, you're gonna got you have to buy plane tickets for Hawaii. You don't have a choice. Well, mm -hmm. you do, but. It's not as feasible, but, um, yeah. So that alone is yeah. costly. For yeah. That's why we're not doing it until 2026. So it'll be Doug and I and Andrea and Andrew said she's all for that. Cause she wants to see Hawaii, which is fine. Doug and I've already seen it once, which is okay. I don't mind going back cause I loved it, but, um, yeah, he wants to. And I, so I sent him some information. You, he, he, there's one for nine nights and then there's one for like 13 or 14, but I'm sure he'll go for the night. <laughs> so, so the cruise is from Honolulu mm -hmm. back to the States. I think. So. Yeah. And stop somewhere in, it's, in, in Canada, I would assume yeah. Victoria or British Columbia or yeah. somewhere. Cause it yeah. has to stop at a foreign port. Yeah. Yeah. So then it comes into where, <clears throat> Seattle, uh, I don't know. LA. I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll have to look it up. But, and I also reminded him <laughs> that he has to have passports for all. Of all them. the kids yeah. have to have passports. He'll have to have six passports: one for him and Brooke, and one, one for, for each of the kids. Yeah, yeah. So I already told Andrea. I said, now when you know this, like February, March, whatever. Apply it, for a passport because she doesn't have one either. Doug just got his last week. Well, so, that's good. Yeah, so we're good. For so, that. are you paying for the cruise for the for all of them? Say what? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I'm let, let me. I was gonna wait. I was just like. Out. I I was just like. Oh no 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 no. Um, oh. Wow. No no. Like I. <laughs> no no. <laughs> No, I mean I love you, but Dan, yeah. I need to be a part of your family. <laughs> you want to come too? <laughs> I want to come too. <laughs> yeah. so. That's well because I said something. Can to they get a family suite and have all four of them and the two parents in the same room? I, I don't know. Um, that's going to have to be checked out. Of course, I also said that, you know, if Izzy wanted to stay with Andrew and Doug and I, that, that's an option too. So maybe by then I'll have enough so I could get a suite on Celebrity. Because, but know, you wouldn't be able to sleep all of you in the same. No, 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 no. D Andrew yeah. and Izzy could have a bed and then Doug and I could have a bed. Yeah. So, and then uh, she could stay with us. Of course, I'm sure we'll have company. Knock, knock. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's usually how it is when we go to competitions. Yeah. So, But Izzy has one in February at French Lick. I'm going to book a couple nights at the hotel there. Mm -hmm. So, Because mm -hmm. I hate that drive. I hate that. There is no easy way. Yeah, there isn't an easy way to get there. Mm -mm. It's a couple hours, no matter how you... And Look a lot of it. it is back roads. Yeah. So yeah. it's pretty. It is pretty. It's very, very pretty. But I prefer. Are you going to stay on site at French Lick? French Lick, the yeah. casino? Yeah. Have you seen how much they charge you? No. <laughs> Who's paying for it? Doug. Oh, Doug. <laughs> Doug. See, the last time Jamie, Jamie and I went down, he plays. He played some tournament mm -hmm. and um and they they play a couple of different courses mm -hmm. of a couple of different days and so his buddy was like hey you know bring the wives and we can bring you wives. know they can do whatever they want they can do whatever they want go to the casino blah 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 mm -hmm. um and jamie looked and it was like 450 dollars a night or something to stay in in the casino hotel oh and and Jamie was like, um, for 150, Sue and I are staying across the street. That's, that's the Hampton, right? Yeah, or whatever. Yeah, okay, that's part of what we'll do there. I'm, I'm like, not gonna spend four. No, well, number one, Doug would have a stroke. Like the, the casino is supposed to be cheaper. Like the hotel is supposed to be cheaper at the casino. Not this one. 
and not apparently this, not. not not this one so yeah mm. so we stayed across the street yeah that's probably where we'll stay yeah it's real easy to get in the car and go across the street. <laughs> exactly. Or just fucking catch a, you know, a $3 Uber across the yeah, street. Yeah, that's true, too. So, I don't know. We'll see. It we'll blew see. me away. So I was just curious if you'd actually check oh, the rates. His official retirement day? Yeah. April 1st. Nice. For who? <laughs> For him. Yeah, you're right. For him, it'll be For going him. crazy. Well, you can come over here anytime you want oh, to. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you you do enough. You're you're out and about. Yeah, I am. Get out of I and am. Yeah, boot scooting. I don't think it's gonna be you. I'm just not used to it because I've been you know I've been home for the last six years and doing whatever I want when I want and. Why would that change? Is well, he it's gonna, not going to. Is he going to be able to tell you, no, you can't do that? That oh, no. would never happen. Oh, no, so, no, 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 right. No, no, no. Oh, no. So, no, no. It's all good. It's good for him. It's good for you. It's good for him. I'll let you know. Fine. I'll let be... you know. I will let you know August or April 2nd. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a little bit more time than that. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has to go to work that day so that. Him and I can still have the insurance for the rest of the month. Oh, on the, on the first, yeah. And I said that's April Fool's Day. Who would retire on April Fool's Day? <laughs> okay, I bet a lot of people do. Well, they might, but I don't know. We'll see. Are 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 are, are you ready to turn us off? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> you guys have a good week. Yeah, and we'll see what kind of trouble we can get into. I can get into by next. Uh, we can. I know. Why is it your husband always calls me trouble? He calls everybody trouble because okay, he can't remember their names. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up secrets here. <laughs> Score, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a good Bye, week. Bye, guys. <laughs> Take care. We'll see you next week. And no, it's not a touch screen. No, it's not. I haven't said that for a while.